like he, 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 no one can pay me no one can be able to buy me mm. i'm the child of god so i know that i have a value so when you are clean always it gives you the courage and it reminds you that you are you know what i want something yeah. beautiful yeah. Mm. so make sure you remain clean yeah. mm. and even if sometimes they will say unalichelete or what what just be clean and go out Mm. And then sleep for minimum of eight hours. When you are sleeping the minimum of eight hours, you allow your brain to rest. Yeah. Okay, why don't you ask, how do I sleep? Because you've just mentioned on the symptoms that I will suffer from sleeplessness, which is insomnia or sleeping too much. You Remember, we said these are the coping mechanisms, yeah. strategies, things that you need to adopt, things that you need to teach yourself. Mm. You talk to yourself to say, you know what? I'm going to sleep it all over like eight hours. Yeah. Because you are disciplining now this body, this mind that is telling you that you are not worth anything, that's suffering from any guilt. You are standing up, meaning you are standing up for yourself. Self, yeah. Yes. So you are going to make sure that I'm going to sleep eight hours. Uh, when you are coping, remember, family, you are not uh, there yet. You are striving. Mm. So you need to find a head maple. For an example, you can set your alarm to say, I want to make sure I strike it sleep eight hours the reason why you don't want to fall into sleeping too much because it still fall under the symptoms of depression you don't want to sleep less because it still fall like in the insomnia you are struggling to sleep mm-hmm. so you want to show it to say i am the uh, i am healthy i am sleeping the healthy eight hours remember for an adult healthy sleeping hours it's eight hours mm-hmm. for a child it's 10 hours mm-hmm. so you will be able to measure yourself to say no i'm getting the i am fine and then eat fruits. We know that most of the vitamins are found in fruits and vegetables. Mm. So we have spoken about taking a uh, multi vitamins, and then the fruits, which is the diet, it balances those vitamins as well to build up the weak uh, brain that we are building. So eat fruits as a, a coping mechanism, and then go for walks. We said traveling, and traveling mm. something that requires money and planning and stuff like that. Mm. So. Go for walks, like I said to you, Rashapao, Shabagimo. Then it takes the brain out of the sleeping, out of the moodiness, out of the feeling guilt, out of all this same environment. Because same environment, it, it also mm-hmm. uh, uh, encourages depression. So when you go out, you meet people, you talk, even yourself, you feel the air. And then on the next slide, it says mem- memory loss is an overlooked symptoms of depression that leads to so people about the things that they've done to me uh it happens it, it, it triggers my anger meaning i need to check to myself uh, from myself to say maybe the, the my approach to people is it correct now or no so when i, I i'm confronting maybe my fears or people in life am i using the right skills or am I not doing it the right way? Because at the end of the day, whenever I try to talk about my feelings or how people treat me, then I become even worse. I go out of it. So you need to identify it. And then another thing, that strategy that you use to cope with depression, try breathing exercises. Ne? Mm-hmm. Which I will ask just one second for us now to do it. Mm-hmm. And then you tell me afterwards the outcome. I'm just going to count from three to one and then you breathe in. You hold until I count again another second, you breathe out. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. One, two, three, out. What did we experience? A little bit of a relief, ne? Mm. There's something that is just happening. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So the breathing exercises, they also help when you feel like, you know what, now, ne? I'm about to paste. Mm. Just take a breath in. Mm. As if you are working on your cover. Mm. <laughs> but you know when I put you, what is it that you are doing exactly? Yeah. And then when you release it, mm. exactly that what was bothering you, you are about to paste about it, it will be gone. Yeah. Ne? Mm. Yes. Because especially at, at the workplace or wherever where there's a lot of people who are gathering, it's very easy, especially workplaces, the common one, whereby we find ourselves because of the stress, the mm-hmm. pressure that is there, you are just wanting to burst out. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't portray you uh, as a good person or a person who's able to handle uh, her moods and stuff like that. So to, to calm yourself down, just use that and see what it will uh, 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 
do to you. Even at home, sometimes when you're about to burst out for the kids, just <laughs> afterwards you release them yeah, into okay. whatever they do. Yeah. You see, you'll save yourself from a lot of things and a mm. lot of tension um, around people every now and then. You'll be saving a lot of your relationships because bursting out or anger it mm. also affects our relationship mm. with other people because immediately when you, you, you've bursted out, you find that you realize, man, this was this morning and I think we could have managed it very well or positively so. But because of you just allowed it, you allowed your mood, you allowed it to go out anyhow, then you have spoiled the, the precious relationship. And then another strategy, remember, this is not a treatment. These are just personal strategies mm. that you can use as a person. Mm. Doesn't need your prescription, doesn't need a doctor, does it? It's just you now, your co daily coping mechanism mm. for yourself. And then another strategy, follow a routine. A, a person that is living uh, with depression to try and restructure your life to say, you know what, I'm tired to live like this. Yeah. These are the things that you need to do. Have a routine, design a routine. And discipline yourself, practice, isn't it that most of the things in life, you need to adopt them, meaning you need to teach yourself to do it. Mm -hmm. So have a certain routine and teach yourself to be disciplined, to follow your routine as you have planned it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it you are trying to cope, you are trying to fix something yeah. in you. Mm -hmm. So you need to be disciplined when you are yourself to follow your routine that you have structured to say, you know what, I want to improve, I want to be a better person. Then you follow that routine. Even when laziness